History, they say, repeats itself, and Haruna Idrisu, of all people, should have seen this coming. In 2017, in spite of senior colleagues, including Alban Sumana Bagbin, Kleto Savoka, and Collins Dauda, he was appointed minority leader and grew into the position over the last six years. President Nakufado even had words of commendation for his steady rise and astuteness as a politician with great potential. But his tenure wasn't going to be in perpetuity, though agreeably unprecedented in how it came to an end. The fifth term member of parliament was nominated minority leader, just two years older than the age of his successor, who takes over at age 46. There are concerns the sweeping change in the minority caucus in parliament could cause nonchalant attitude, especially from the ousted leaders and their sympathizers. In the past six years, Haruna chalked up a great deal of success and had some down moments as well. Under his tenure as minority leader that ushered in the eighth parliament, the party made history by leading the minority to get in its nominee as Speaker of Parliament in the person of Alban Bagbin. And with a unique composition that made it almost an evenly split parliament, the 52-year-old will cause government to make several concessions. The minority's opposition led to the reduction in the controversial electronic levy from 1.75% to 1.5% when it was passed without their involvement. He would co-sponsor a failed censure motion that went the full hall to get the finance minister out. The Tamale South Member of Parliament will lead the minority to re reject the 2022 budget until it was revised. He led a charge that caused the withdrawal withdrawal of an 80 million CD allocation to the National Cathedral project in the 2023 budget and the rejection of the two Supreme Court nominees in 2022. The minority raised concerns about the Ijapa royalties deal that culminated in its subsequent withdrawal. MP for Dom Kwabenya, Sarah Ajwa Asafo, can thank Haruna Idrisu and the Minority Caucus for her continued stay in Parliament as her party, the NPP, wanted her kicked out. Out of Parliament, Haruna Idrisu has led the Minority Caucus to show a united front when they made appearances in court in ongoing separate cases involving Collins Dauda and Dr. Kesel to force on his successor. But it was not all rosy for the former minority leader. His party's director of communications, Sami Jemfi, took an issue with his leadership and team in parliament for betraying the party's position on issues. Haruna Idrisu was seen to have unilaterally made a decision to compromise on the electronic levy bill if it was reduced against what was the decision of the NDC MPs to refuse it outrightly. Corruption allegations allegations that were later withdrawn by Boku Central MP Mahama Yariga against the Parliamentary Appointments Committee in 2017 and the resignation of Samuel Okujetua Blakwa from the same committee in 2021 may be dense on his leadership and how the minority carried itself in the vetting of ministerial nominees. But Haruna, who believes posterity is a better judge of events, more now than ever, has to believe in that principle as he sits on the backbench under the leadership of Dr. Kessel Atuforsen.